Hi there. So at this point, I, I would like to remind you that this is the, the, the uh, ANSYS Fluent version or ANSYS Word, Word version that we're going to use. So you can look for this website now, just look for ANSYS Student. Then you, you, you will re arrive to this link. So uh, let's work everybody now with the 2022 R1. Okay, later, later for uh, release. But as they say, all the tutorials that you have here, they should work uh, with this version. I have to say that uh, some of the files that you can download here are, are older, last year or two years old, were already checked and they work. You might get some warnings, but those are only warnings, but it's, uh, but I will try not to, to update the cases, but don't worry about those, those warnings. In any case, while we, we run the cases, if we, if we find a, a, any problem, uh, we're going to solve. Okay. So please install the latest version, but also here you, you, you can uh, install all the, uh, older versions. Okay. So here you have also installation steps and so on. Just click there. Uh, this version is only for windows. Okay. And it's just click and you will install that. So let's work. Uh, assuming that you already installed ANSYS Fluent and I want to show you first, uh, how to launch, launch the source work. Okay. So the first thing is that you can have many installations in, uh, living together. So see that I just installed the latest version, personal reasons. I have all the versions. So, okay. But that is personal reason. So as you go here, you're going to have a whole bunch of uh, applications. We're going to focus in ANSYS Fluence. As you look at here, you see that you have Fluent here, but also there is another application called Workbench. Okay, so let me click here in Workbench just to show you both application, Workbench and Fluent. So Workbench, is, it is a, an uh, integrated environment where you have all the applications that, that comes with these answers. Instead, if you click in Fluent, it is a dedicated application only for, for Fluent. So as you can guess, uh, this, you click here and launch this one is you will use less memory. Okay. It's more efficient is you are just, is you know that you are going and you only need to use fluent instead is you launch the workbench in the workbench, you are going to have access to, to a lot of tools. Okay. Everything. So for instance, you can go here and just to show you later, there are some other tutorials that we do that. Okay. And also just to remind you the videos that you're going to find, to find probably the last year or, or 20, 2020, uh, pretty much is the same. The only thing, probably the icons are a little bit different, but the idea is the same. So for instance, here I see that you have access to the geometry, so you can just drag and drop here. So you can create your geometry. Then if you want to create your mesh, you have your mesh there. And then if you want to link fluent here, just put here fluent the mesh. So see that you have the workflow here. First you create the geometry, then the mesh, and then the fluent. Okay. So you're going to use the workbench is you are going to start from scratch. Okay. So there are a few videos that I'm going to show you the basic, how to create geometry, but then we're going, I, I'm going to give you all the pre-manufactured meshes. Okay. So as you have the pre-manufactured the pre meshes, you only need fluent. So you can put fluent here and then you double click here and you will launch fluent. The problem is that when you do this, when you are within this workbench that it uses a, a, a lot of memory, but also it saves a lot of files. By the way, uh, always save your files. So here you have the option save. So put everything in a, in, in a, in a dedicated folder. Don't put a uh, things in your desktop because there are many files that it will save. So let me go here, test. Okay. It will save all this configuration configuration that you have here and see that it's saving all these files here, this folder. So this is the you double click here. It will open. And then inside the folders, you have, a uh, another da data structure. Okay. So this is a lot of information that is saving. So this is just required is you want to do everything from scratch. Okay. The geometry, but if you have the mesh, you need to do this. Uh, so let me close here and having that in mind. Okay. And I can erase here. I don't need this one. So as I say, try to put everything in a single, in, in a single directory. Okay. Just create a, a directory and put your files. 
Okay, don't create a mess. So the other option to run is you come here and it's, instead of launching the workbench that it have access to all those applications, you go here and just click Fluent and it will launch the dedicated, the dedicated application for Fluent. Okay, so probably you are going to have a different uh, interface because it already expanded some options. So I think probably for you will be something like this so you can expand the auction. So the advantage here is that you are directly reading the image. You don't need to, to, to load more applications in memory. Okay, so it's just dedicated for Fluent. So the important things here to mention is that uh, here Fluent, uh, you need to say what kind of, uh, of case you are running, 2D or 3D. Okay, so if you are running, running 2D, select 2D. If you are running 3D, select 3D. Then double precision, I, I always recommend you to use double precision. It's likely that in your computer also you have more than two processors, so here you can select the level of parallelization. So if you have four cores, put here four, okay? So everything is managed automatically by Fluent. And the same for GPUs. So if you have a good GPU, you can select one. But most of the time I will run like this, four cores. And then very important. So here you have some other options. So use the default values, don't change anything. But if you are in doubt, here you have the help. So I always invite you to click the help. It's a very good help and you will access the online help. But we want it to go here in general auction. And the important here is that, is that here in general auction, in this line here, working directory, you need to give the directory, the path of the directory where you have those files. So in our case here, see that I have my files, the ones that uh, you can download for this page. So from this page, so let me go here, it will be the Fluent Mesh. I put it here in this directory. So see that I select that directory, select folders, and then when I click star, so this is a 3D case. Okay, so I already selected here, a star is going to launch Fluent. Okay, so it's only Fluent I don't have geometry or whatever, no other application. So this is more efficient. So remember, sometimes I will launch the work workbenches. I want to do the geometry, mesh, and so on. And if we already have the mesh, I will go right ahead to Fluent. And this is Fluent, okay? This is your interface. And if you want to open that, that, that mesh, you go here, file, read, mesh or case so in our case is rip mesh and see that here we have it okay so the files with the extension nsh and this is compressed okay nsh it, it, it is a valid mesh for fluent okay so you have two two, two types of, of files you have nsh and then you have this dot cast and those that so this is the solution the dot that you have the solution dot cast, you have the mesh, but also you have the case setup. That is, this is the solution. Now, so this case I'm going to run from scratch, the NSH that we don't have anything. So we're going to see all those options, okay? So this is it for this video. So I just introduce you, introduce you how to uh, launch Fluent, but also how to launch Workbench and why we want to work in Fluent, okay? So leave this window open because from here, we're going now to start to set up the case now that we're inside Fluent. So thank you for your attention and see you next video. Bye.